Okay, now that we know a little bit about the workspace, let's take a look at projects, what they are and how they work and how we can manage them. All right, we know how to start a project. That's what we did in our first lesson here. Let's take a look at how they're constructed. I'm going to go into our project folder here and take a look at the subfolders that make up our project. As you can see here, there's a variety of different folders and each one is basically uh, designed to contain a different type of object. So we've got one for our buttons, one for our audio files, one for our documents, so on and so forth. We've got different folders for our different aspects. If we go to our project, you'll see that we've got our music player here and it's made up of different things. For example, we have an image for the logo, buttons here on the player, an image for the background, etc. If we go into our autoplay folder here for our project and take a look in the different folders, we'll see those different elements. For example, there's the buttons, there's the images, and so forth. So that's how projects work. And when we publish them, you actually have an option to clean out the unused resources from these folders so that you're not actually carrying a bunch of extra weight around with your final files. Let's go back to Autoplay Media Studio here and we'll go under the Edit menu, Preferences, and we'll select Folders on the left here. As you can see here, you have an opportunity here to customize the location where you store your projects, preference files, and temporary files. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And let's take a look under the File menu. Under the File menu, you see you have an opportunity here to export projects. I'm going to just bring up this dialog, and you'll see that underneath the menu selector here, you can actually export this as a project template or a project archive. So these are fantastic for sharing projects with other people, storing projects, um, sharing projects on the internet, etc. And the project template actually allows you to go ahead and create your own templates for your Autoplay Media Studio gallery. So that's very handy. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. And we're going to take a look at a couple final aspects of projects. Now, if you go into the project menu, you see you have some different options here. Now, the project settings allows you to set up your size, what type of window you're using, and so forth. There's a variety of different options here, and I encourage you to go through and experiment with them. Most of them are self-explanatory. Go ahead and press OK. And you'll see there's also options here for a menu bar. You can actually create your own application-style menu bars for your applications in Autoplay Media Studio. We have an option here for audio, for background audio, startup movie, automatic dependency checking. Let's take a quick look at that. For example, if you want to include some PDF files in your project, you can actually set your project here to automatically check for the Acrobat Reader just by checking that box. You can check for different things like Macromedia Flash Player, Internet Explorer Browser, and so forth. Let's go up right and press OK. And actually, you can create your own custom dependencies too, but that's a story for another day. Here we've got actions that we can attach to our project. So for example, if I click on that, you'll see that we can actually attach different actions to the events in our project, such as startup, shutdown, when it's being resized, and so forth. It's very handy and it's very powerful. We've also got options here for global functions, and that's where we can set up functions for our entire project. And they will be stored in here. It's easy to edit, nice and clean, and they apply to our entire project. Those functions that you design there can be called from anywhere in the project. We've also got an option here for plugins. As you can see, there's some different plugins here for CD audio, clipboard, FTP functionality, and so forth. And go ahead and press OK. And finally, here we've got the file layout. So you can go ahead and browse through files and so on and so forth. And we've also got underneath the tools menu, the Optimize Resources option. And this is kind of neat. This actually allows you to go ahead and clean out your resources so any unused resources that you have stored in your project folders will get taken care of. It keeps everything nice and clean and uh, basically keeps your files as small as possible. So that's the basics of projects. Now, the neat thing about projects in Autoplay Media Studio is that they're actually very uh, clean and tidy, very easy to edit, and uh, you can actually get in there and do uh, some pretty neat stuff. So if you have any questions on projects, meet me in the forum and I'll be happy to answer your questions. And we're going to go ahead and go on to the next video now.